world of the movies you have the good guys and the bad guys the bad guys seem to be having the better deal initially but by the time the 17th wheel unrolls they get their due the good guys prevail and the bad guys get arrested killed reformed or all three together ah the magic of the movies sadly when it comes to films themselves or even the music industry for that matter it's the bad guys the pirates who are prevailing it's really really rampant mana you can say ki if i am releasing my movie on friday you can get a pirated cd or dvd on thursday one day before than that because i am delivering my prints for all india theatrical release 7 uh, days before my movie release in india so that's a huge problem mana we are facing our viewers of indian movies in domestic market and with the indian diaspora all over the world have gone three fold more the clientage and the customer have grown the listeners of music indian music have grown four fold 400% but you will be surprised to know that revenue has gone down to 60% well i suppose india is the only country in the world where uh, you can see a pirated material on your cable channel it doesn't happen in pakistan it doesn't happen say even in tunisia or even if you say the worst of the possible countries it doesn't happen 100 aadmi agar picture dekhna chahte hain to 90 aadmi pirates picture dekhte hain to 10% log actual theaters mein aajkal ja rahe hain music industry is almost crashed is very very low basement every technical advancement is only for the pirates not for the producer i can't tell you the uh, effect also because it's it's so huge and so bad that it's it's unbelievable i mean i had my dvds out of unofficial dvds out of uh, ruck from from day one i remember in gujarat when i went in the very first week after my raz was released and uh, it was there in a five star hotel in the taj i was in taj i saw it on the cable and with the uh, ads of the local um, banya and underwear sellers on it was stamped on it so i called up my distributor i'm exhibit and I said please do something let me get get me in touch with the local police and let me do something he said mr bhat you're there for one night have a good night sleep go back nothing is going to happen it is obvious that piracy has become all prevalent today but was it always this way let's get a historical perspective of the genesis of this problem but with video came the first tremors of doom and um, pirated videos changed the rule and uh, till uh, the industry woke up having um, fought a uh, uh, losing battle woke up and said that let us strike a deal with the pirates and face the inevitable uh, that gone are the days where movies would only be screened in the so the shrine is called the cinema hall and the money would only come from the box office window and now technology has changed the ground rule and uh, people will watch movies in the comforts of their home and there were video parlors who were still making a lot of money but uh, that was a sane decision and uh, video market became a kind of an added territory for be producers but ever since man stepped into what is called the digital wonderland all hell has broken loose well the historical perspective really is the uh, introduction of the cassette the music cassette when it came in and with that uh, it became very easy to copy you know the files we talk about today on the internet and on the downloading it was happened when the cassette itself came in when uh, if people were if people remember we used to record ourselves and exchange cassettes it's like exchanging files today what happens on on uh, the net so it was the easy method of duplication which really started piracy when the records were there you required a whole factory 
to manufacture and duplicate records. But the cassette, you could do it in your own home. That's where piracy began. That's the historical background. The historical background was further hit recently by what is called the MP3 activity. You know, today on a CD, you can put as many as 100 songs in one MP3 uh, CD-ROM, on a single ROM, and that's being sold at 40 rupees. So 100 songs available at 40 rupees, whereas those 100 songs, even if it's available on a legitimate CD, of 10 CDs, it got you 1,000 rupees. So 1,000 rupees worth of product, today you're getting at 40 rupees. So today, the CDR and the MP3 format is really playing the role of what cassette played in the 80s. The humble audio and video cassettes unleashed a genie that today is demolishing the bottom lines of the entertainment industry. What is the economic impact of piracy? Let's find out. There have been no empirical studies made. It is only the salesmen of the different music companies who go to the field and they see some pirated goods uh, in the shops or they, and then they make a rough calculation. The government had made a study some time ago, about five or six years ago, and they thought it was 24%. How would they arrived at that figure? I asked the, the person in charge, but it was difficult for him to, to explain. I think now it must be same levels. Maybe in music you can say it's more than original products. Uh, I think maybe 70, 75% should be piracy. I definitely believe that if piracy is not there, no picture in the world can be lost today. The potential is so much, the avenues are so many. See, currently the, the legitimate music market is estimated to be between 600 and 700 crores. It depends on when the big hits are. Um, the pirated component is another 600, 700 crores. So on an average, the industry loses between 600 and 700 crores as we speak today. Unless something drastic is done now, it's the good guys the actors, singers, musicians, directors, storytellers, lyricists who light up our lives with their talent and creativity who will fade to black. Uh, as it is, the producers, uh, they are making a lot of money. So we, if we are uh, thinking about our pocket, then I don't think there is anything wrong. A common man, when he buys a cassette, up now, uh, purchases an illegal VCD or a tape, uh, out of CD. He says, what does, what difference does it make to Mahesh Bhatt or to Shah Rukh Khan? They are already rich people. So how can they be on the brink of extinction? So the, the Hollywood being Hollywood changed the strategy. They put the face of the stuntman, uh, the, the gaffer, and say, you are taking the bread away from his table. You are robbing the morsel from his mouth. So do you want to do that? The person who is selling is a thief. The only thing, he is undeclared thief. He is a socially accepted thief. We music industry has lost 1,800 crores uh, in the last two, three years. And I think uh, more than 70% uh, of our employees, we have to sack them. The music industry is not just about music companies or about artists. There's a whole series of people who actually live on music and make a living off that. It starts from your average little small town village kind of, you know, flute player to an established film composer. The whole range of people make a living off of music. So the commun obviously the one community is the artist community. The, mu uh, the second community is really people who, who write lyrics, the poets, the recording engineers, the sound engineers, and a whole host of people who are connected with generating music. The second set of people are actually music companies who actually buy music, who manufacture cassettes and CDs, and there's a whole manufacturing operation, the, the music industry as it were. The third set of people is actually the trade and the, and the business community, the people who actually sell music. There are over 10,000 shops in India who make a living selling music, and there are shop boys and, and other, other people making a living off that. And lastly is the media. There's a whole number of people in the radio business, in the music television business, and in the film industry itself, for whom they are recording artists or, or performing artists for whom music makes a living. So if you add it up, there's a huge number of people from a human point of view who make a living and who are attached and associated with music.
नहीं ऐसा सर इसलिए पता कि दिन पर दिन जितने बड़ी बड़ी प्रोडक्शन कंपनी है वो बंद होते जा रही है और मुझे लगता है आने वाले दो साल में अगर इस तरह से पायरेट हुई हर कंपनी बंद हो जाएगी अभी अगर नहीं चाहते हो कि हम लोग घर बैठ के देखें तो क्या नई नई स्कीमें निकालो मूवी का टिकट सस्ता करो उसके साथ कुछ पॉपकॉर्न वगैरह कुछ फ्री आइटम वगैरह कुछ करो ना तभी तो अब हम लोग आएंगे टुडे देर आर मोर देन हाफ अ मिलियन पीपल दर आर बीन एम्प्लॉयड बाई द म्यूजिक इंडस्ट्री आर इन इंडिया या एंड अबाउट नियरली टू मिलियन हु आर डिपेंडेंट ऑन दैट दिस कुड हैव बीन नियरली ट्वाइस और थ्राइस दैट साइज इफ दर वॉज नो पायरेसी बिकॉज द म्यूजिक कंपनीज वुड हैव बीन देन बी एबल टू डिप्लॉय the generation of resources back into the business people think that you know when they are buying a cassette or a cd they are buying plastic which is not the case when you are buying music or when you are buying intellectual property you are not buying just the plastic you are buying the human effort behind it you are buying creativity so the producers have no money no films are being made today uh, the workers so sooner or later if this continues the workers are going to have no work at all aur bahut se channels hai उसमें अच्छा अच्छा तो पिक्चर आ जाते देखने को मिलता और क्या हो जाता है अपने अपने जैसे लोग का टाइम पास हो जाता है बिकॉज ऑफ दिस फिल्म पायरेसी द इलीगल वी सी डीज एंड डी वी डीज कमिंग इन शोइंग इट इन केबल एंड ऑल दिस थिंग्स द रेवेन्यू इज ऑल्सो नॉट देयर इन द थिएटर्स सो नॉट ओनली द डे टू डे लाइफ ऑफ अ टेक्नीशियन अ फिल्म मेकर एनी वन गेट एफेक्टेड बट ऑल्सो द क्वालिटी ऑफ द फिल्म बिकॉज मोमेंट रिटर्न इज नॉट देयर नो प्रोड्यूसर कमिंग आउट to spend on the film even is so so scared the buyers are very scared the distributors are scared the makers are scared they really want to play safe given the economic and human cost of the problem how equipped are the indian legal judicial and enforcement systems to tackle this cancer the government ko judiciary mein change lana chahiye act mein change lana chahiye easy kar dena chahiye ki bhai ek aadmi jit ja jo koi bhi police station mein ja immediate uska fir registered ho laws are in place But the implementation is not there. The policing is not there. The law is, at the moment, to a certain extent, adequate. Yeah, uh, enforcement takes time and it's difficult. Uh, the the logical end of getting a legal conviction takes even longer. The judicial system, the police, the machinery, is so overburdened with other criminal cases and other violations of physical property. that the judicial system the police and the other government machinery hasn't understood what is actually violation of copyright law is in place but the process in fact is so slow that uh, we just have cases which keep on piling up i think a key problem here is the legal addressable system within the country okay because i think that requires key changes in the law a movie which is being shown on television or in a video parlor if i don't take immediate action it doesn't help me you know like if you take action 5 years after that so you know like who are you trying to benefit on the country it becomes problem for me i am a witness in some cases you know i keep on getting summons 5 years after that the basic foundation is weak because nobody is interested in nobody sees this as a menace at all the government is totally sleeping they they are in deep slumber they don't find piracy as in the agenda it doesn't exist so that is the tragedy what can you do you are just talking screaming against the wall i think government of maharashtra i mean has a, a proper set up laws to uh, control the piracy but the point always which we always find is how to enforce that law because the new technology is coming so fast whatever law we make technology is one step ahead of that law you see all the laws in this country are good people feel that the laws are bad it's not the laws that are bad if you go and see the say the indian penal code it is coming down from macaulay's time much before uh, 100 years before the british left but here uh, the enforcement is is what causes concern we are a soft state I mean we do not enforce the laws we make laws to be broken <laughs> with the alarm bells ringing the indian music industry has closed ranks to collectively battle